so I work in children's and adult social care at the London Borough of Redbridge. Um, Pre-COVID, my typical working day would be coming into work four to five times a week, um, interacting with a lot of people, um, and just it, it was constantly busy with face-to-face -face meetings. Um, also, my team was a very close-knit team, and there was a lot of interaction going on there as well. Outside of work, um, again, almost every day after school, I had um, classes. I used to take my kids to martial arts, to swimming. Um, it was a very busy social life. Um, I, and I consider myself to be quite a fit person. I don't normally ever get ill. Um, I started feeling um, mild fever, um, and I started just not feeling myself. Um, and as the days progressed, my wife got worse. I got quite bad to the point where um, the fever wouldn't stop unless I was taking um, medication for it. But what I do remember was I had severe leg pain, severe meaning to the point where I couldn't even walk up the stairs. And that is when I remember thinking to myself, I've never experienced or felt this before. Um, in terms of my wife, it got to the point where she couldn't breathe and we had to eventually take her into hospital. For, after, for 14 days, I remember being very poorly. Um, it was really bad. After 14 days, I remember I started to feel a little bit better to the point where um, after that initial period, I, I, I came back to work. But when I did come back, I, I had no energy. So I went, came back for the day and, and then I had to go off sick again. Um, I remember thinking to myself that I, I feel totally zapped um, and lifeless. It's a real, it's real, it's a real virus, it's a silent killer. Um, it is transmitted through close contact. If you are advised to self-isolate, self-isolate. I thought to myself at one point that I was going to lose my loved ones. Uh, thankfully, I didn't. But for a great number of people in this country, that is their reality and that's what's happening. So just be sensible.